Hi everybody! I'm about to do a 15 minute session for a client and this client, Johannes, he ordered a five minute session and we explored some interesting questions and what came through was really beautiful. And this 15 minute session is actually a follow up on what we experienced in the five minute session and both of them are gonna be shared on YouTube so I'll make sure there's links so you can access the five minute session from here. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and read what the goals are um, and then we're gonna see where spirit takes us. Okay. All right, so in the five minute session, I'm just gonna let you know, there is um, a part where I'm, I'm standing on the edge of the universe and there's northern lights and beautiful stars. And um, there's a part where a net is cast out to bring the northern lights and the stars closer. Um, so this net was not meant to be. And the request is, okay, if I could teleport to a star, so I got in that you should teleport from the first star two more times instantly without knowing where you will go, then hold everything in place, kind of time loopy, and explore what is there. <laughs> so I'm going to do this, okay? Um, there's a few other goals, and I'm just going to merge them all together, and then we'll see where spirit takes us. So, so I would like to ask what kind of energy is around my face and shoulders, um, and indicating that I was right about the self-imprisonment discovered in the five-minute session. Um, it's very hard to break out from that. Also, I'm kind of stuck in between worlds and can be in the heart, but it's still kind of blocked. And my psychic vision is blocked too. Maybe you can experience that. As a child, I have memories in which I could see different dimensions, beings all around me. Now I am slowly starting to regain some visualizations, but it still seems to be very limited. So we're going to explore this stuff. We're just going to we're just going to put it all in there and then we'll see where spirit takes us. So just give me a moment here. Okay. So you want me to teleport to a star and then two more times. Okay. Let's see what's there. And then explore energy around face, shoulders, third eye, heart, psychic vision. Okay. I'm ready. I'm going to go ahead and relax now. Okay. I'm going back to the original scene from the five-minute session, and let's just see what happens here. Okay. So I just choose a star, and then... All right. I'm, at, I'm going into the star. Just give me a moment for information to come through. So I'm actually going to go through it twice, okay? which I've already done, so give me a moment. Okay, yeah, you're looking for a way out. So that space that I, uh, that I experienced in the five minute session, that space was your imprisonment. And it was you that cast that net out there in order to um, solve this experience, in order to conquer this experience. Um, but it wasn't meant to be conquered in this way. Um, you, because there is a, a riddle going on with you, and the riddle is you have to find it inside of yourself. So the imprisonment is not an experience that you are stuck in based on based on the world around you. Like I can't leave this place um, because you're always free. When you go within your heart, you have access to everything. So when I do this, when I get to the star and I do it twice, your soul has already tried this, just so you know. But it's not going to work because you're in a riddle experience. So when I go there, it's all pure white. Um, and that's what is what happens, okay? I will help you solve this, just so you know. But I need to continue to follow this through. So give me a second to analyze what's going on. Yeah, you're still trying to project out there in order to find the answer where you need to project inside yourself. I mean, that is the biggest clue I can tell you. They are asking you to project inside yourself in order to get to where you want to go. So I'm going to try this again. I'm going to place the northern lights in the universe. This was so beautiful. I'm going to place that whole scene, which is standing at the edge of the universe and the stars and the northern lights. I'm going to take all of that and I'm going to put it inside of you. Then I'm going to have your consciousness dive within yourself and then see what happens, okay? 
So you show me that I just created a vortex um, to a parallel universe where you are also imprisoned in the exact same experience. So I'm just going to stop there with this. I'm going to examine your energy field and then I'm going to let spirit share the next message related to the riddle, okay? All right, so let's see what your energy around face and shoulders is. <sighs> this is very strange. It's like somebody took a wet sponge and threw it at your face and it, it hits you in the face and then there's water actually kind of dripping down. It also reminds me of butter. I don't know why. It's got, it looks also like melting butter dripping down your face. And you have a major, I mean, if I'm looking at the bigger picture, there's just a, a completely clear, but it's, it's like the, the, can, the um, density of plastic. It's like a clear plastic egg. Um, so that's also around you. I need to remove that. Hmm. As I'm doing this, you... It's, it's almost like um, I can go in and take a look at what your human reality looks like, but your soul isn't satisfied with this um, because it's looking for something, okay? So when I'm analyzing and trying to do energy work to bring your physical, your human now um, identity into balance, um, your soul instantly is like, yeah, this bores me. And then you go instantly into a portal with lots and lots of um, rings in it and you go into it. It's a gray color with almost like a green, green colored rings. It's dark gray. You're so bored. You're so bored of looking at my, my human healing for you. It's too slow. It's too boring. <laughs> That's like literally what you're saying. It, it, let's go. Let's go now. <laughs> okay. I stop you. I'm literally not letting you go. And I say, I'm not the one imprisoned here. And I need you to examine this with me. And we're going to go as slow as I feel like we need to go. Because I'm here to help you. And I'm not going to follow you into your own self-imprisonment just so we can get stuck in the same experience. That's not going to help. You can't show me what I don't already know. So you're not going to show me anything new. You're just going to take me into your issues again. So I'm going to heal Johannes's physical body. That's what he wants. Okay. This is so important. You have a part of yourself that is literally, I mean, no wonder you're in between two worlds because this part of you is just, it's its like almost trying to pull you out of your human experience um, and it, it sort of loathes it. And um, so this part of you needs, I, I need to do something here because this would totally jar up your whole human life experience. This would. It's not taking into consideration that you matter. In the human physical now, you. I know this is so weird, and I will explain all of this at the end. I'll put all the pieces together so you can understand. I know it's a bit choppy, but I will help you understand everything. But I'm not letting that part of you go anywhere, and we're going to focus on you. And when I do this, your whole energy field shifts because it's like you matter, and this part of you does not care about you. And it's a twin part of you, all right? And it also is you but it also feels like it's another version of you. So, and it's a distraction, major distraction. So that's why you feel in between two worlds, two dimensions. I'm pulling him all the way back into your heart. That's where he is imprisoned, apparently. <laughs> all right, one thing at a time. I'm touching your head because, yes, you do have major energy block around your third eye. You have major energy block here. Major. Why would that be? 
I'm putting my hand into your heart and on your head. So I'm just generating energy and I'm allowing this, these blocks to know that it is safe to let go now. And that we are going to talk to this other part of you because this, ha this whole thing has to come into balance. You're sad. Your human side is sad. Um, and when you cry, it's like black tears. And you say that you're imprisoned. And it's worse than just a plastic clear egg that you're imprisoned in. And it's almost like you're imprisoned within this part of you that's trying to get out all the time. But really, he needs to let you do the walking and the talking. And that's why I'm putting him in your heart and I'm releasing you. <sighs> what a weird conundrum you got going on. This is not an everyday situation, just so you know. <laughs> okay. There's also some things that you've seen that are scary. So another reason why you you just needed to create the safety mechanism to um, just cut off the seeing abilities until you felt it was safe again. They're showing me this. So I'm going deeper into your energy field. This is related to your third eye, mental body, and heart. It's not necessarily about the shoulders because this is really loud and important. And when I go into here deeper, you're standing in the corner of a jail cell and there's prison bars here. And there's some really wicked looking faces that are sort of pointing and laughing. But you're the one that doesn't want to take notice. You're the one that doesn't want to see this anymore. So I see you in the prison, and there's these beings pointing and laughing. And I'm going to take you out of here because you don't need to be imprisoned. I'm not sure why this has happened, but you are so afraid. You are not feeling comfortable or safe going to this these prison bars with me. And you're getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. And believe it or not, when I pick you up, you weigh like the weight of the universe is how much you weigh. So you're making it so I can't pick you up. However, I can pick you up. The thing is, is I can't force you to face this. Otherwise, it's not going to work. You have to want to do this inside yourself. So I say you don't have to weigh the weight of the universe. I'm not going to take you through the bars. It's up to you if you're ready to face this. If you don't face this, life is just going to be the same. And I don't think you're very happy. You're really clenched tight and you insist that I don't understand. I mean, you're like a fist, but you're a ball. You're like a rock, a heavy rock in, the, in this prison. And that's also a reflection of your heart. And so these three that are standing here win. They own you. They decide your fate. So you see the value of choosing to take your fate into your own hands. You have a power within yourself. There's no doubt about it. Um, doubt about it. <laughs> There's a special caliber within you. And this is like an ultimate test for your own soul um, to be able to stand up and face this. And the, the rejection of completing this task is going to make everything worse. It's going to make it feel way more imprisoning. It's going to make it harder in a lot of different ways. Because only when this is, this is completed will you finally be set free. And you will be set free within yourself. You will be set free within yourself. I can tell. I can feel that. And I tell this part of you, you're just making excuses because it isn't as hard as you insist. I've seen quite uh, some terrifying things that souls have had to face. And we can do this together. There's not a single thing in this universe that I can't face with you. You don't have to do it alone. <sighs> wow, major distortion. Now this here is around the shoulders. 
This here is in the lower back of the head. It almost makes me feel shaky down the neck and the shoulders, and it's heavy, heavy weight. And it almost feels like a stiff neck too, pain in the shoulder. It feels tight. It's all related to this. You are finding the strength, actually. Say, if you can weigh the weight of the universe, you can find the strength to face these three. They're, they're weak. They're pathetic. They're testing you, and you're letting them get away with whatever they want. You're getting stronger. You pull the weight of the universe into yourself. Use that as your, your power, your foundation, your grounding, your truth. You relate to this. You are actually doing that. You're pulling more of the universe inside yourself. That's what this is all about, you see? Northern lights and the, and the stars. But you have to pull it within yourself. The net, the, something about the net. This is very, very interesting. You're just pulling all this energy within yourself. Instead of using it to weigh yourself down, you're using it as a way to build yourself up, to become you. There's a reason why there's a weird vortex in parallel universe because what you're pulling in is also being distributed around. All right, let me keep moving. You're still doing this. You're still pulling it all in and you're finding strength and you're starting to stand up. You're not there yet. You're almost there though. And you're growing quite tall, actually, taller than the ceiling of this prison. And you're growing so tall, you just grow out of the prison. The prison was very small. <laughs> and you became small with it. But it's not actually the right size for you, because the universe is the right size for you, right? And you're just growing out of this prison cell, and those three look like little tiny ants right now. They're just doing their job. They're just helping you to conquer yourself. That's all they're doing. And you actually start to materialize so that you can become part of the whole universe. All the stars and the northern lights and the planets and everything. You actually become, you disperse yourself into everything and then you become the universe. You become the whole universe. But this is important too because there's something to the parallel universe thing. Because it feels like even the universe isn't big enough for you. So you want to be more, you want to be connected to more than just the one universe. It's too small. It's too small. But this then becomes a problem because now you are dissatisfied. Now we're starting to get to know that other side of you who gets bored. Um, nothing will ever really satisfy that side of you. I, I, you know the saying where, um, you know, if you can't practice yoga for one hour a day, then you need to practice yoga for two hours a day. Because people who are too busy for yoga, they actually need to learn how to slow down in order to get more done. So this busybody who is bored, puff, you know, don't need any more of this human stuff. It's too slow, too boring. But even when I expand this other part of you to the edges of the universe, you want more universes. You want more, 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 forever and ever and ever and ever. It's not healthy. It's totally out of balance. And that reminds me of the other part of you that is, he needs more, you know, he's bored. So he needs to do yoga for two hours a day. Instead of one hour a day, he needs to slow down. He needs to slow down. There's a, there's a lot that, I mean, there's a lot about your soul here. There's a lot more stories I could tell you about your soul. Um, this is all I can tell you right now, okay? Let me just, let me just hang in there for just one more minute because I'm, I'm placing this awareness into your soul, the one that grew beyond and just never was satisfied and putting the awareness into your soul so you can come back into accepting. But that side, it defines us as imprisonment when it's not, is it? Or is it? You'll never be satisfied if it's always going to feel imprisoning. And you'll never have enough to fill an empty void. But do you really have an empty void? Or are you just that hungry for more? But you never can quench that thirst or the fill that belly of starvation. You see, this is uh, this balance issue. But what I could tell you is there's a very unique storyline to why you are like this and these two soul versions of yourself. 
And there's a reason why that one was imprisoned in that place because that one had to learn a lesson and it, it just, I mean, this isn't me going into the journey to really know the answer. This is me just speculating because of the way it all feels to me. This is what the feelings um, make me think of, okay? Because I've come across this before. I've come across souls that have made very specific choices and then had to get put into specific spaces where they could be contained for a while until they could work through their stuff. And then divine timing happens because their energy flow changes and attracts um, the opportunity for new things. And that could be a very long time. And in eternity, then there, there is no time. Um, what is really a very long time? But from my human perspective and how I can tell time in other dimensions, I can tell when souls have been stretched really thin. And believe it or not, the part of you that is bored hasn't been stretched thin enough. <laughs> hasn't been imprisoned for long enough because it hasn't learned how to appreciate creation and hasn't learned how to come into balance with creation yet. There's so much more I could tell you, but this is all I can say. So do you, does this make any sense? Um, you have a story about your soul and you're picking up on the pieces of it in your human life and it's creating this type of balanced experience. And don't feel like um, it's always going to be this way because it's not. There's a reason why you're coming into awareness of it now because it's ready to be reconciled. It's ready to come into balance. So that can be done already um, because it can be. And that part of you can learn um, the lesson that it needs to learn in order to be truly set free. It doesn't have to be stretched so thin. It doesn't have to be painful. It can just simply be an instantaneous awareness and an acceptance. So if you want to do more energy work, another 15-minute session would give me a chance to really look into this some more, but this should help. The energy work alone is going to shift your energy field, is going to give you more of a perspective and awareness and, and help you to come into a safety and, and a readiness to see again, okay? All right. <laughs> Thank you so much for this very interesting experience. One of a kind experience. So again, I'm going to put a link to the five minute session in the description. So check it out. Um, and for those of you who are interested in exploring a session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Thank you all for watching and I wish you all a wonderful day.